Hey guys, Bambeard here again. Got another video in my half cannon. This one, uh, I'm kind of confused about something. I would like your guys' help. Now, I, I feel like I did pretty damn phenomenal in this. I scored something like 8 kills. But there's a moment in this match that has left me very confused, and I'm hoping that one of you can tell me why the hell it happened. And I apologize if I'm hard to understand. My voice is kind of stripped. I, I haven't been feeling too great. Don't have the COVID, thank you very much. But, I just feel kind of crummy. Anyway, we lost this match, but regardless, I felt like I pretty, yeah, did pretty damn good. Other than the one moment. Very strange moment. You'll see in a bit. I tried to set up here, tried to take advantage of my uh, glorious jungle camo, which really doesn't seem to work too great. Honestly, at this point, I feel like I'm wasting my time. It. Move forward here and actually get in range of my many, many guns. Have my Bert. That Agu guy and I um, get into it a couple of times. He nails me, but I got him in turn, so I, I, it was a pretty fun exchange, all things considered. Just run away, sir. Run away. Oh, look, a trench. See, this is what Darth Vader should have done. Just sit above the trench and just pelt. But no, he had to get fancy. Go diving down in there. I'm sorry, sir. There is no leaving this party. I have bullets for you. You may have them. They're discount. Yeah, he nailed me pretty hard there. I I gotta say, I'm actually really liking this uh, jungle map. That trench is fun to play around. Sightlines are a little hard at times with trees getting in the way, but it, it's fun. I'm having a lot of fun on this map. Not quite in range. I admit, I wasted a lot of rounds on this particular run, but at this point I was just like, you know, it's time for Bert. I am not built for up close. It does not work well for me. And I think that moment I was speaking of earlier is coming up. I'm gonna drop in here in a couple of seconds try and back these f uh, um, folks up and I, I do my thing and then this fella drops in and immediately proceeds to downswing me for some strange reason I, I I didn't see anywhere where I deserved a downswing. I didn't hit him that I'm aware of. If you guys can tell me, that would be great, and I would appreciate the help. I actually toyed around with reporting him at the end of the match, but it was like, you know what? I don't even understand why he did it, so he can have a few rounds, and um, yeah, we'll just go with that. I kind of confused, but hey, whatever. Have all my love.
Now I know I just finished those folks off, but three kills in a row feels good. Somebody else did most of the work, uh, but regardless, three kills feels damn good. Guess I got pretty lucky with that. That fella, however, had a really bad spawn time. I, I honestly kind of feel bad for that. I never feel good about spawn killing, but at the same time, a kill is a kill is a kill. I'm a support. I'm supposed to shoot at long range. See here, I'm gonna be a team player. I don't like letting people just do stuff like that by themselves. We're teammates for a reason. Now, if you're off going rogue, yeah, I'm gonna let you die. But that's on you. Now, see, if I'd waited just a moment, this probably would have gone better for me. As it is, I think I still scored a kill or two. But, yeah, I have, like, most of the entire enemy team right here, right in front of me. And it's just me and one other fella. Bit of a lonely moment. Very lonely moment. Whoa! like I was like on the very edge of his firing range at first that was kind of crazy I think that was an aqua gym with its wonderful 16 missile shot still need to learn to use those missiles more I forget they're there I honestly do Magu guy doing his job. <laughs> I'm not impatient, you're impatient. Just trying to do something before the end there. Less than 30 seconds and not a lot of time to do anything other than drop some ordnance on someone's head, hopefully. Didn't pan out, but it is what it is. And if that was that guy that was on a sliver of health when I died, if he survived that long, more power to him. Because that was a thick dust up there at the end, and it, <laughs> if you can survive on a sliver of health like that, it's nuts. So yeah, we lost, but I still feel like we had a pretty good time. Other than getting knocked down, I mean, I, I still don't understand why, but whatever. Yeah, I toyed around with reporting him. Was, I didn't really see anything that actually fit what he did, so I was like, eh, screw it, whatever. I, I, I think it's kind of a, a weird feature anyway. Anyway, let's see. 27, 18, 8 kills, 2 deaths. That's really good. Not bad at all. Anyway, thanks for watching.